uh, I'll show you the, um, I'll show you the, 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 uh, the pumpkin farm up close. It just originally kind of went up. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it right over here. I don't know if that's gonna work. Nope. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Thank goodness for feather fall boots. Anyway. Yeah, here's the, uh, here, I'll show you this. While I'm down here. Totally as planned. While I'm down here, I'll go and show you this. And, as you can see, it goes into a beacon setup that I've got over here. There's three beacons. I've got, I've got a fourth. But, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be using that. Uh, let's see, can I make it up there? Probably not. Oh, this guy, this little guy. The color's black. He was the first uh, puppy born in the Nether, actually. Interestingly enough. Uh. Crap. Uh. Let's see if I can make this shot here. Perfect. Alright, let's head over to the pumpkin farm. Because it goes on. Hey, no. More ruining of dramatic moments. Ah! Okay. Alright. Okay, fine, we'll just go around. Be that way! Fine! So, yeah, uh... Originally, I had a sheep farm over here that I ended up uh, having to just kind of get rid of. Because it was, well, frankly, it was disorganized and ugly. So, up here, on up here. There we are. There's the pumpkin farm that I originally had. But it, it's kind of been supplanted by the one that I've got in my underground base. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Um, what do I have? I have anything important? No, not really. Yeah, I originally had a combination of pumpkins and wheat. Excuse me. Anyway, but down there... Uh, I'll save this last time the bone and just run. Oh, that was... That works. <laughs> Running down the fence! That works. Uh, down there is just a uh, lava pit. Didn't want anything damaged. But yeah, in here, in this, in this kind of, uh, mountain area, I've got something I want to do here, but over here. Yeah. There, here. This is where I organized all my sheep. Spread them out, put them up to the leads, and drag them around, and managed to get them all in here, and that was a and a half, I don't mind telling you. All the sheep come ever want or need. And I'm just going to build up the bus there. Yeah. Just in case I've got something. Anyway. You're probably lonely. Come on. Come on, boy. Let's go. Yeah, I, I, uh, I haven't really used wolves and such because for a while for quite a while actually because I don't really wait a second, what am I doing? The the teleport all over the place and I'm just and and when you zoned into a new area their teleportation bug you ended up firing them all over the place and you you, you lost track of all of them. He'll he'll make his way up here. I felt bad because I really wanted to, you, you know. I really liked, I really liked having them, and, but just bugs with them ended up making me not be able to use them. So I'm gonna go this way for now, and hopefully, 
this will be able to show us. I'll be able to. It'll be able to show you. Here's because this this is where the track split. Right here, this is where the track split. That direction goes off to the village. And no, 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 no. Cheese. Uh, this is going to be a hassle. I don't know how to get up there. I should have just jumped out. Well, that, feel, that thing's lost. Uh, uh, I'll figure it out. Be right back. Alright, I managed to make my way over to one of the tunnels there. You can see the split over there. I managed to make my way over to the tunnels, so let's make, uh, let's get my mining cart. This, I kind of wanted to build something there. Might make it part of the, uh, castle area, but, uh, we'll see. Going through a bit of a taiga biome here. And this is a 1.8 taiga, so... Yeah, I still had to fence that off after creeper, uh, unfortunate creeper incident. But over here, I have a suspension bridge. And yeah, the suspension bridge here. I'm, I'm happy with this bridge. I don't really, this, this doesn't go off anywhere actually, but, uh, oops. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, anyway. Yeah, this, this, I wasn't sure what I'm gonna, what I was gonna end up doing with this, but I was, I was happy with the way this turned out. Kind of a glass, uh, glass building here. with this. Yeah. Uh, I was originally going to have this go off somewhere, but it's just kind of meh. And this, this is probably going to end up being, once this, once the urban scroll reaches this place, it'll end up uh, being something, but yeah, right now it's got nothing. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, head back to, uh, I'll head back to the, um, I'll head back to the main place, and I'll, I'll head back to the main, uh, the main hub, and, uh, once we get there, I'll be right back, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Alright, we're back. We're back here, and I'm going to need to get make my way to a bed. Bed! Where's the bed? Crap. Uh, oh. Eat. Gotta get to the bed. There we are. Alright. So anyway. I guess the main reason I'm showing you most of this is because I want... I want to change these things, and I guess I've been afraid to. I've been afraid to change a lot of these things, but I guess that what now that now that I've shown you, now that I've recorded, now that I've shown you all this stuff, I kind of have closure, you know. I'm I'm allowing myself to. Allowing myself to say goodbye to it. Because I'll admit, some of the stuff is pretty crappy. Some of the stuff is just not uh, not my best work, to be perfectly frank. I mean, hell, look at this chicken farm. Look at this chicken farm. The chicken farm is a mess. mess. It's getting out all over the place. I'm going to take it. I'm going to use it. Chickens are all over the place. Chickens are out. I've already, I've already supplied 
planted this. There, there's already a, there's already a chicken farm where I'm just producing, producing cooked chicken. Got my cow farm here. Got my pig farm over here. And over here, actually, this is pretty nice. I'm like, I kind of like the design I was doing with the checkerboard and such. But uh, this, this, this ended up, ended up doing working. But I've got this. I got the wheat. I've got wheat, wheat and potatoes here, mix, mixing them up. I'm mixing them up a little bit, and then wheat and carrots. A couple more rows of that. Yeah, I like this. This is a nice, nice little design. Every so often, you get the, you get the torch and the, uh, and uh, make sure everything's lit that night. Anyway, I'm eventually going to start te possibly tearing some of these down and actually building good, proper houses that are properly furnished, or just going back and furnishing some of the old houses. But regardless, I think the next project that I'm going to do, well, you got one, two, three, four. Four floors for this thing. And the thing about this is we've got six types of wood. So my next project is going to be building a floor for the acacia wood and building a floor for the dark oak wood. And as you can see here, I've done this this you got you can see kind of my uh, idea for building this, and you probably see why I was building up those, uh, why I was harvesting the pumpkins in the, at the very beginning of this episode. Because I'm going, because that's my lighting here. And all the way up here, and then we go to the birch floor. And then we keep going up, and we reach the... We reached the uh, recently harvested uh, jungle or jungle tree floor. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna considering whether or not I should actually you know change change these out to actually stained glass because I'm not liking the uh, the new glass text the, the the glass texture. Oops, come on. So yeah, come on, lag, stop lag. Why lag? Why you do this? So yeah, I've got right here the acacia. This is the beginnings of the acacia floor. And the acacia floor is going to go here to build up. Excuse me. The acacia floor is going to go here and it's going to build up, and I'm going to end up with this with an, with another two floors with the acacia and the dark oak. Er, dark oak. And I'm pretty well going to repeat the pattern that I did before. And we are really high up. I'm really thankful for my protect uh, my feather falling boots. So, which which might need repair soon. But anyway, this that's where I'm going to leave you guys off. I'll I've still got a few more things to show you in my world. I've got uh, I'm I'm currently in the process of excavating a stronghold. Pretty cool. But, ooh, look at that. Nice view. Actually, let's see here. Hang on a second. To give you a great view of my world, I've set it to 16 chunks. And let's see what we can see. Maximum render distance here. Come on. Let's break my computer here. <laughs> Come on. I know you can see more than that. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh well. Anyway, you can see a very nice overview of the city world of Barana. I think the reason that the villagers are all crowding around there is because we've got a crap ton of just doors. <laughs> And it was intentionally built that way. They're, they're, that's kind of a villager farm, if you will. So, I'm going to expand this. Actually, no. I'm not going to expand it. I'm going to consolidate it. I'm going to make this... I'm going to make each and every building 
in here a treasure. I'm gonna make each and every building here have a purpose and a use. That is my eventual goal. And then, once we have finished that, once we have completed that task, then we will start to expand. Then we will start to make this world a city world. A Logopolis, I believe it's called. The city world. And I think that's where I'm going to sign off now. Enjoy the view. Got no chickens, as you can see from here, but you can see, if you can see the cows and the pigs here. You, you viewers, you know what? Thank you very much for listening to my ramblings and, and viewing my world. So, stay safe out there.